Can you look at the road? Hey, He's been looking down for a road. minute. Yeah. Whoa. Uh. I'm surprised that wasn't a quick time event. Whoa. Stop the car! Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. In today's video, we're playing the game called The Quarry. The Quarry is a game about when the sun goes down on the last night of summer camp, nine teenage counselors are plunged into an unpredictable night of horror. The only thing worse than the blood drenched locals and creatures hunting them are the unimaginable choices you must make to help them survive. So this is basically a game that's similar to Until Dawn if you've played it before where you have to make choices and your choices will matter if the character survives or not. Personally these games are usually hit or miss for me but this one was definitely a hit for me and I'm loving it right now. Currently I'm about to be on chapter 3 but in this video you're going to watch chapter 1. This video also was live streamed on Twitch beforehand so you might see some alerts or hear me talking to chat and stuff and chat was trying to help me make some decisions and whatnot. If you guys want to watch me play this live don't forget to head to my Twitch link is in the description down below. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's hop in. All right, here we go. Music's fire. Fuck, what's going on? This game is called The Quarry. I don't think so, Jaden. I think most games, if they have good music, they're usually a great game. Like Road 96's soundtrack, uh, God, I added Road 96 music to my Apple Music. Route 919, Laura. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just. We're in I missed the context of that. Right. So, <laughs> lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up! Did I just miss that tutorial? Yeah, honey. <laughs> nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just <laughs> another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, pick map. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. No connection. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Can you look at the road? Hey, He's been looking down for a minute. Road. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, 
I'm surprised that wasn't a quick time event. Whoa! Stop the car! Ah. Guys, I'm so bad at quick time events, it's not even funny. Why weren't you looking at the road, bro? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. I don't think they hit anybody, right? It looks like they avoided them. What is it? I really have this car up. Oh. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I'd just be happy I was alive. I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay. Hold on. Uh, interrupts. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Hmm. So we have the opportunity to interrupt certain things that will happen, but it could also stab us in the back later. Gotcha. Uh, was I? Oh, I, I, I just meant to grab the toolbox. I didn't want to snoop. God damn it. Rejected. Oh, he got rejected from a school he wanted to go to? Probably wasn't ready to tell you yet. Oh, this is why you guys this is why you don't snoop, guys. Nothing good ever comes out of snooping. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Oh, that was an interrupt? Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light. Alright, I see. There you go. I get how it works now. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna bring it up if I don't have to. Fire pits singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself going up in a big old space. Hmm. Well, anywhere's better than here. Let's go investigate who's watching us. Oh! Oh, nah, that's... Nah, no fucking way. <laughs> Did you not see that? That's gotta be like the creepiest thing you could see in the woods. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Oh, she's bugging. Uh, complaints. I'm not gonna be defiant. But Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just I heard something. Okay, like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Max. Go with your girl. Is he coming with us, or...? I oh, know he's just helping us down. Okay. Luck with the car. No, this... Uh... 
God damn it. Who am I again? What's my character's name? Yeah, this is literally every horror movie ever. Laura. Okay, so Laura and Max. I like Max. He seems like a nice guy. Harum Scarum? Oh, okay, I could just look at it. Alright. This is a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here for a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? Hmm. Okay, first Marcus, of all, you're gonna get her killed like you got all the other good characters killed in House of Ashes. I'm calling it. Hey, 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 hey! House of what Ashes was a hard game to, for everybody to stay alive in. That was a tough game for everybody to be alive in. I'm not gonna let anybody die in this one. What is this? Handcuffs? Escapology trunk. So like for an escape act kind of thing? Is there like a circus around here or something? But can I... Can I take stuff? No, that's just if I want to look further. Okay. Interesting. Nope, 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 nope. We should probably go back, but I feel like that's not an option. One thousand bits if nobody dies. Do you know how hard that's probably gonna be? That's like a ten thousand bit wager. Oh god, I'm I'm like nervous already that I fucked up by going out here into the woods. <laughs> Ooh, no, I saw that. Yeah, you saw that too, Laura. Come on. You know you're not tripping right now. There's gonna be a quick time event here. Where are you? Silence. Who is Silas? Oh no, it's muddy. That means we could slip. Come on, Laura, we got this, we got this. Oh, why oh, didn't, it didn't give me a direction. It's not fair, it was so last minute. That just, that wasn't fair, dude. It like. All right, I see how it works now, okay. Hey, she's not dead yet. Relax. She just hit her head. What's wrong? What's wrong? Talk to me. You all right? Jesus Christ, you're all banged up. No, no. There is something out there. Like, there's noises everywhere. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. Freak yourself out. I would believe my girlfriend. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yep. Good job, Max. Yes, there we go. Purr like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Why, you're not helping me. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of- The, the mouth is out of sync. Alright, enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm 
I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Nope. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing? Oh, this it's morning? an officer? I didn't see are either of you injured? No. Uh, was she oh, I see now. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. <laughs> really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Hold on, let me check out this tutorial. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. Okay. So even if you make a bad decision, you can still kind of... fix it. Uh, we swerved off, something jumped out. I'm gonna be honest. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out? I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. I feel like the cop is really aggressive to people that just like swerved off the road. You know what I mean? Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Like, why are you, Why is he being so aggressive? We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. How honest of you, Max. You're not gonna make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Wait, is that blood on his neck? Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Nah, he looks creepy. I feel like that's like a it's like a death trap. Why would we not go to the quarry? Oh, I'm gonna be ballsy. 
With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Oh, oh what? Fuck. Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Why, why I gotta step out, though? <laughs> why can't I hand you the map and then you just show me? Son, remain in the vehicle. Nah, this is... Okay. No, dude, what is this? Okay. So, we... Are right about here. Harbinger Motel... Is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? He's gonna lie. Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Right. See, what if he's actually not a bad cop, though? Like, what if he knows something sketchy's going on there tonight, so he's trying to guide us away from there, you know? Still, please. Hold still. I'm not going to do anything. Just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. There. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to vehicle, ma'am. See, I feel like if I recoiled there, we would have had to deal with him longer, so. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, so there's two. What if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. So there's two options. Either the hotel is um, a death sentence and it's a trap, or the camp is a death sentence and he's trying to get us to avoid the camp. Or Why both. is this guy just sitting there? And why would I get annoyed? It was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen traps. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> Alright, Max. Let's get driving. Alright. Let's get back on the road. Yes. yes. I think I've had enough woodland. <laughs> Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? Mm, no, nah, but I feel like he said that for a reason. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> oh wow. Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20 is... Debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> nah, I like them. I like the two of them. They definitely could have make made Max more of an asshole, and they didn't. So. Oh wow, they made it. That was quick. 
You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive nope. all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Mm, Laura. Why <laughs> Hello? Oh my god. I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? Why would you assume that... I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll yeah. get the car. Max, come on. No, nah, Laura's Max, goofy. Don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Max is not a dick. You're an ass. <laughs> for... <laughs> being like it's like telling your friend I'm gonna come over to your house but you like call them and leave them a message and they never reply and you show up to their house and you're mad that they're not there like what'd you expect is anybody home whoa whoa he's not driving away right alright enough enough checking the door time's it's, it's, Fuck all this. We are playing the safe route. I'm gonna check this map right here. I, uh, like, come on. Do you see that down there? That just says character death. Right? So, I'm gonna read the map. We're gonna give Laura a chance to redeem herself. I could probably kill her right now, but... We're just gonna read the map and then walk back to Max. Oh, dude, there's like a whole separate island? That's pretty sick. Yeah, so we're at the car park right now. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What a quote for this game. Fun. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Alright, Max. I'm down to dip, bro. You're not gonna let me leave your game oh wait never mind wait knock knock hey you ready to roll yes yes the answer is yes All right, they're not gonna let me though I have to go check out that door oh god Are you out of your fucking mind? Nah, Laura's got. Right back. I'm gonna get some help. Nah, Laura don't got brain cells. Straight up. Max, Max, get over here. What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools. I'm so sure Mr. Hackett is not that bony. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. No. Wait, what, no. what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... The... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking. I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay. So... Taking the hammer. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Ooh. Well, I feel like the hammer would make for a better weapon. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck it. So someone's trapped. 
I don't like Laura now. I like to first saw five seconds. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. If somebody was trapped under there and wanted to escape, they would probably be waiting by the door after they heard Laura scream. So, this is clearly a bad idea. But I don't see any other options, so... You've seen the evil dead, right? <laughs> Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Do you exist? <laughs> Why, why, why is the hammer on the ground? Hey, that is okay. not why I made my decision. Oh my god. Fuck you, Laura. Turn around and pick up the hammer. What are you doing? I'm just... You know, I'm scoping it out. Hmm. Max a bit of a chicken for that one. Oh, come on. Neither of you saw that, bro? A leash. It said Ian on it. Ooh. Max? No. Is he not there? Why are they not showing me if he's there or not? Nope, 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 nope. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Yep. Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. Yes, sir, Max. I think our magic... <laughs> What? Where's he bleeding from? I think I'm bleeding a lot. How did. Oh, you fucker. I hate my heart. I hate myself. I mean, yeah, Laura's stupid anyway, right? So if she dies, it's kind of whatever. But, like, if I could save my homie Max, then cool. So I'd rather take the risk of saving Max. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Every little movement, every little thing you do, is it slight of hand that commands my heart to love you? Every little movement, every motion of your So we were right. Like, 
the cop clearly knew something was going on there at the camp and that's why he didn't want them going there that's why he was like just go to the hotel we should have listened i wish they would have given us the option to go to the hotel or not the quarry let's go Yeah, I'm curious, is there a way to save Max? Or is he one of those like guaranteed deaths, you know what I mean? Cause it was it was chapter one. Like that is like the very beginning. Do we have enough time for chapter two, you think, Maria? Or was that even the end of chapter one? My friend, welcome to the show. Who the hell are you? We are friends, aren't we? No. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Yes and terrifying but if you're brave enough if you let me help you i can help you we can help each other okay you didn't find anything and so i've nothing to show you you need to look harder the cards are out there if you don't help me how can i help you we're supposed to be friends you said so yourself I never Search harder. I, I didn't Only say you that. can find them. Okay. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. I didn't know there was stuff you could find like that. I would have looked around a little more if, if I knew that. But now I know, so we'll try to look around a lot more. Also, what's going on, Shadow? Max and Laura was the introduction. Ah, I see chapter one is now. Hold on, let me send a message real quick. Oh, what the hell? Who's this? Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Got you the Hydrate Mango. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> These are all famous actors, right? You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. That's what I was just thinking. Space London God. Tipton? Is that you? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. That was rude. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? 
The Miss last boss. couple of bags. Got Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. So that girl Emma is his ex, I'm guessing. What's my name? Do I get a name? Jacob. Jacob. All right. So Twilight. Gotcha. Jake. Bags. Focus. Or Jake. All right, London. Fucking relax. Can you let me grab some bags? Jacob, go upstairs. Oh, Jacob, I'm putting the bags get in the car. Their goddamn life. <laughs> Wait, so I didn't even realize. So this is now after the whole summer camp is over. I'm sorry if that was supposed to be obvious. Damn, that was a huge time skip then. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't, it's, it's. I gotta get the last bags What's in there, come on. What's wrong with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Hey. Sorry, bro. <laughs> okay, Dylan. Cool, thanks All guys. right. Are you team Edward or Jacob? Uh, Edward. Jacob always kind of annoyed me. Twilight is ass. That's debatable. Alright, let's look around a little bit. Oh, happened in the window. Alright, let's go. Skill. <sighs> Why is homie so winded from climbing in the window? Uh, ooh. Wait, is that to climb back out? Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought it was to close the window. <laughs> oh, double skill. <sighs> Alright, relax. Relax, Jacob. You're in the wrong game, my friend. Dude, I really like the graphics so far. I don't even have them on high, and I feel like they look pretty good. Right? What do you think? Scar, I agree. Why are they like blocking up the stairs and stuff like that? It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, like, I'm sure on top graphics, this the lighting probably looks insane. Because it looks pretty good right now. Except for that. Like, the light right. rays in low graphics Bags. is kind of yikes. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. I guess you're going to have to get used to that. Oh, my God. You are so mean. <laughs> Bitch. At least I'm honest. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Did you just call me son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Ooh. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing. 
is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> Maybe I like it. Uh... Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> Oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said that one. <laughs> yep. Okay, I don't so know. Are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. I actually it feel like be. a dialogue has definitely been cringier in games. Kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet, and you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. You don't know Trust that. Me. Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> We're going the toxic we route. Yep, facts. <laughs> uh, I'm doing what she said. Right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Yeah, because the option was to break the fuel line. Up here, my dudes. Why did they? I didn't want to break. I didn't want to. Do, the fuel line sounds a little no, worse. Dude, please, d d d d long. Oh, Nick. Is that my phone? What is that? Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh Ooh. man, good sight. Freak. All right, now I'm cringing. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you Doesn't know, it matter because there's, like, really no connection out here? For emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Wow. Everybody's a dick. I'm gonna be friendly though. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. I think Jacob's definitely hotter than that guy. <laughs> Isaac.
Abigail. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. I'm sorry. Doors locked, bags inside. I failed you guys. Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Break shape in. Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Let's go. Break in. I'm not leaving my okay. bag. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, One two. Oh wait, we're two, actually gonna like. Three. Ugh. Mm. Pretty trash door if it opened oh, that easily. About the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right. Well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Yeah, that lock was definitely made out of plastic. Alright, room 10. Room 10. Let's look around. Let's look at all the things. Go that way. Aw. This was little Izzy's. Uh, keep it. Right? Let's get you back to Izzy. Yeah. See, Abigail seems nice. Yeah, the rest of the characters I don't really know yet. I'm honestly not a fan of many of them, though. I like Abigail. I like Jacob. I like London Tipton. The rest of them, though, seem kind of super cringe so far. Why would this place be in the news? Wait, what was that? Freak show goes up in flames. Dozens killed in fire at traveling show. Okay, so that's interesting because that kind of relates to um to the poster that we found as Laura. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Did you guys ever go to camp when you were younger? I went to camp once, and my mom actually worked at the camp, so I was able to go for free. It's kind of cool. Wow. This game looks good. Guys, remember, please let me know if it lags, if volume's too low, anything like that. Alright, where the hell do I even begin to go here? So I'm pretty sure all these cabins are locked, right? Not funny, Ollie, not funny. What's this cabin over here? Oh, this is the... This is a pool? 
It is. Can we go in there? Oh, dude! Wait, look at our backpack. It has like wings on the bag. That's pretty cool. Well, Mike, we're not even- we're, we're on chapter one! You can watch if you want. Oh, but you're not- oh, you're just about to start chapter two, okay. Never mind then. I appreciate the lurk though, Mike. Yeah, so we need to find the cards, right? God knows where we could even find those. Alright, these are all gonna be locked, I don't know why I'm walking up to each door. Alright, let's take a look at this sign. Coney Island, Tokyo, Boston, Burbank, Death Valley. It's a lot of different. That's kind of cool. Yeah, if we find the cards, cool, but if we don't, oh well. I'm not feeling, like, extremely pressured to find them. Up the stairs. Is that a crow? Hey! You stop <laughs> that! I just wanted to check that there's nothing behind there. Twelve chapters, Jesus Christ. It's gonna be a long ass game. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. What was the weird noise about? There was like a weird noise there. Oh, hold on. Is there a card on this table? There was a face in the window? I didn't see a face in the window. You guys saw a face in the window? Yeah, Coleco Panda, uh, Maria, what was the exact amount? It's like 187 different endings you could get. There was supposed to be a face in the window, but it wasn't. So did the game glitch there? Hundred and eighty six endings. I was close. The speed walk looks kind of goofy. <laughs> Who in the hell? Oh, is this is this Emma? I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I didn't realize you were waiting. Ready to roll? Yes. Good. Finally. Yes, Time this game has 186 and endings. But I'm also guessing that those endings are based on, like, dramatic, the different, confident, like, it's chances of people asking. dying. You know what I mean? That's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, Thank you, Coleco. faking it is just being yourself, but louder. What came first, the chicken or the egg? You should try it. I don't know, but I do know that her mom came first last night in Water One Sheesh. Froggy, shut up. 
You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Mmm. Okay, so Abigail's got a thing for Nick. Uh... <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, I sure. I don't think he does. <laughs> I don't think he gets it. That's us. You and Nick could be different. How do you guys handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Mmm. Of course I'm gonna take the scenic route. It'd be too boring if we didn't. Sick boy, thank you for the sub with Prime. Happy nine months, my friend. Thank you so much. Mop, what's going on? Tree Stump, how are you? Uh, to be honest, I'm just starting out the game. I haven't even finished chapter one yet, but I like it a lot. I definitely think it's very good for uh, for YouTube content, though, if you're interested. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. That's what I'm saying. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. <laughs> Mad secluded, right? Is that smoke? Whoa! Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning. Nah, 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 bro. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably you know get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's you know gonna leave it at you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All. Everyone, same. So they give us a choice to take the scenic route or not, but they don't give me a choice to go and inspect the fire. Out of pocket. <laughs> now we're playing as Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go and... Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> what didn't you That's like? Nick. That's the one that her? Abigail Please? likes. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags. I don't support up that. The... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag. Thank you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. 
That was just unnecessary. Nudge? Who am I nudging? Oh. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Oh. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. <laughs> podcast, nice. That's cool. Cool, dude. What's it about? Uh, I love how they give you the option to be kind of like rude and then the option to be nice. I always want to choose nice. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's now we're the talking. Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Clinton Tipton got aggressive uh, over the years. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. <laughs> the kids that don't believe in the weird and evil curse that's about to haunt them for the entire game. Super cool. Uh... Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, no, no. Wait, no, that sounded just, very sarcastic. He's lying. There's no way that wasn't stuff, sarcastic. That's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. <laughs> What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, <sighs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? I have so many mixed emotions for these characters. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? 
No, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? <laughs> I want to like Ryan because um, I like everything that he acts in. Really, eavesdrop. Hell yeah. Because kids are kids. It only be so much of a. They're almost out of here. All right. You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses. All right. Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like. Waiting. Ah. I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know... Whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it! Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter these terrified kids that they sent home. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Uh, uh. God, I always want to play the nice route. I didn't realize it was... Such a big deal. I don't understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya <laughs> anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. Bullshit. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. What? <laughs> Good goddamn, are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? 
actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Bruh. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Uh-huh. <sighs> Let's skedaddle. Is it just the one car that's taking them all out? No, right? There has to be two cars. There's too many of them. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. Oh. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Oh, that van is a lot bigger than I thought, actually. Yeah, I see how big it is now. They could definitely all problem? fit in that. Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine mixer. Right? I don't know what happened yeah, to the van. It. So weird. Yeah, it's just dude, not it's working just like anymore. Kaput. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come all on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. Come on. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah. Well, coulda mm, and she shoulda knows. doesn't mean it is, <laughs> does it? Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. No. <laughs> <laughs> what if I missed? <laughs> they have just fallen on the floor. <laughs> hey, Ron. Come here for a sec. I feel like everybody should be freaking out. Because of how much he's Make freaking sure that out. Everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. Yeah, okay. You know that's not gonna that's not how that's gonna go. I'll be go. back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I'm just gonna say yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Uh, Galax, we don't we don't know Lock exactly the why they need to leave yet. God's sake, keep the noise down. We just know that this dude's acting super sus and wanted them to leave today, but now they can't. So. What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> well, we should go inside, like you said. Jacob we should could relax go inside a little bit. Until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Uh, like what? What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-K. 
T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. I did not even realize her name was Caitlin. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Yeah. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. Uh, no, 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 dude, dude, it's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you. The uh, group is getting bored. You don't want to disappoint Daddy. Oh my God. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Someone looking at us through a sniper scope? Uh, do not like the look of that at all. Ryan is smarter than the rest. I agree. Like, why can't you just have the party inside? You, you, you please what the guy wanted. I forget what was it what was his name? The guy that just left. Like if you have the party inside, you please you please what he wanted and you still have the party. Chris Hackett. Okay. So yeah, if if you have the party inside, you please what Chris wants and um you also have the party. So I don't understand what's the problem here. Oh, did he say be quiet? Oh, it is the, yeah, I see it now. This guy covered in blood? Oh. Oh. Oh, they're both covered in blood now. Why? <laughs> Hunting season? They're not trying to hunt the kids though, right? They're trying to hunt something else. Because they were complaining that the kids were still there. When they were on the phone with Chris. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Was I supposed to find a card there? Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. I thought Where I did. From, I felt like I looked around. Find them, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll find I'll find it next time. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves, and look out for my cards. Gotcha.
Okay, so that was the prologue and chapter one of the quarry. I'm definitely super invested already. I'm really enjoying the characters so far, and the chapters after this just get better and better. If you guys made it to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend, because God, this is probably one of the longest videos I've ever posted. <laughs> but seriously, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, because it helps spread my video out to new people. And also subscribe if you haven't already. It'd be much appreciated. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.